Hello everyone, this is Destiny out here at County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today we are checking out a motor home. This here is the Thor Chateau. The model is a 22E. We are on a E350 Super Duty Ford chassis. Lots of features in this one. I'm going to show you everything it has to offer. We also have four other floor plans of this chateau on the lot. So you can get a variety if you like the chateau brand. We do have some other models, bunks, larger floor space. Uh, let me flip you around and show you what we're looking at. I like to start out with a quick overview. As you can see, we are not very long here. I am going to put the length right here in the video description. Coming around to this side, you can see we have no slides on this unit. All right, let's get into the details. We got a big old motor home, lots to tell you guys about. So again, we're looking at a Thor Chateau. We've got our passenger side entrance right here. Nice running board. Here is a look at our tires and the suspension. All right, E350 Super Duty again on that Ford chassis. Just giving you a good look all the way through. Now our overall height is about 12 and a half feet. So just keep that in mind as you are driving. Moving over to the driver's side. Again, we've got that running board. Some nice decals on this unit. Right here we have our fresh water connection. In the event you would like to do some dry camping, you can fill that up. I'm going to link the tank size right in the video. Moving down here, we have our generator. This is going to be the Cummins Onan QG4000 right here, all prepped, ready to go. And here's our compartment closed up for that. You've got your clip hooks to keep your doors in place. Moving over here to our hot exhaust for the furnace as well as the hot water heater. Here we're going to have an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. Here is a look at where you'd plug up that cable to hook up and get some TV going. Here is a look at the tires. We've got two side by sides. Moving back over here, we have our dump station for your black and gray tanks. They've got it stashed right under here. So you've got your door, so the drain outlet and the holding tanks, as well as your low point drain all locked away. We are on unleaded fuel, so no diesel on this one. And 30 amp service connection right here. Moving along to the back, we've got our city water connection so you can plug up to the campground. And then, of course, your uh, Santa flush so you can clean out that black tank. Moving along to the back side, we have our bumper and we've got the cap so you can stash that sewer hose right into the bumper. Here is our cargo and hitch setup. I'm going to link all of the specs for what you are able to tow and the weight. Looks like we're at about 8,000 pounds for the cargo weight and the max tongue weight of a 500 pound right there. Here is a look at the backside and you do have your backup camera right up there. You've got the ladder already here, so you can get up and check out that roof. Make sure those seals are looking good. Over on this side, we have a large cargo storage right here with lights. This is massive. I also love the dip with the plastic so you can get this nice and dirty, but also still have your nice clean storage up on top. Got this large door again with the clip and it's just going to come on down and latch right into place. We do have our power awning. This is extending for the entire length of the camper. So you're going to be able to utilize all this outdoor space. We do have our plug ups right here. So you can charge the cell phone, add a television. Right here is the access for our refrigerator. And down here we have our propane. Now again, with this being the Thor, you're gonna get a 12 year structural warranty, six year lamination warranty. So you can be assured that this investment is going to last. Also I wanted to show you the door right here. This is going to be the automatic um, lock in place because we've got the strut right down here. You also have the nice screen door 
It's going to allow you to keep things nice and airy and open on a beautiful day like today. And again, that door is going to stay in place so you can keep it open. Okay, that is a look at the exterior and the specs. Let's get inside and check out this floor plan. Okay, so starting out with a quick overview of the floor plan before we get into all the details. Just look how beautiful. And just looking real quick at everything. And down here in the chassis area. Okay, let's get into all the nooks and crannies. So taking a look at this top bunk or storage area, of course you leave it nice and open so you can access your chassis easily. But this cushion right here is weighted with the support bracket needed to fill this spot. So let me pull it over and show you what this looks like as the sleeping space. Okay, here is our bunk area and we do have the brackets here. You will get a ladder that is going to allow you to easily access this space. Now, once we are up here, we've got a few surprises like little storage cubbies, drink holders, and there is a ledge all the way across the back so you can stash some more items. We have our television. This is going to be on a swivel bracket. So you will be able to tuck it back here for storing or for travel and then swing it all the way out to be able to enjoy it from your seating or bedroom area. You're going to have individual push lights up here so you can control which side of the bunk has the lights turned on. We also have a vent right up here, but a nice window with a screen so you can open this up and utilize some fresh air coming in. All of our windows are going to have the accordion nightshades on them, and then we have these nice fabric toppers, and then we've got the vinyl right here. When it's time for lights out, we've got the privacy curtains that will completely go over and close out this space. Now, this is 800 pounds max capacity, so you could sleep a couple adults up here, no problem. They don't mind stepping up into the ladder. I know I personally would not mind sleeping in this space. In fact, I'm going to give it a, a little try crawling up here just for the sake of this video. All right, wake me in 20. So now that we've looked at the bunk area, let's check out this dining space. So we have the overhead cabinets for all your storage needs, and they are also on the struts, so they're going to stay propped open while you're digging around in them. I love that, and these residential style handles makes it feel like home in this unit. As you can see, tons of space. We have our individual push lights right here over the dining. Again, your window topper, but I also like how they carry it down to the sides. It gives it a little extra pizzazz. We've got our nightshade. And then looking down here to the booth area, this is going to convert down into a sleeping space. I will show you that. But looking at it as the booth area, we've got the vinyl cushions. It's going to be very durable and easy to clean. We also have them on zippers. So in the event you need to change them out for whatever reason, you are able to do so. We, of course, have our safety seat belts right here so you can buckle up while you are traveling. Underneath, we've got an outlet so you can plug up the computer and work right here. There's our CO2 sensor, and we've got a full extending storage drawer right underneath this booth here. So that is a look at our dining space, checking out this table. This is mounted to the wall, but it is on an easy system to where we're going to just pull this lever right here, and it's going to be able to lower and sit right on these provided brackets. And that is what is going to allow us to convert this into a bunk space. I did want to show you the uh, built-in cup holders right back here, as well as a wireless charger and USB charging port right here on the table. Now, I do want to show you how easy this is to lower it and how smooth it is. So smooth, in fact, that I'm going to be able to keep my... Um, staged items on top of the table so the lever i'm just pushing over and look just with a little bit of effort it's going to go down now if you are converting this into the sleeping spot you just want to go ahead and remove these cushions from the velcro holders 
to allow the table to slide right down onto that ledge. And we're gonna push our cushions over top of the table and make this the sleeping area. And there you have it, a nice long sleeping booth. We could fit easily another adult right here, one or possibly two up there. And then of course you have your main bed right back here in the back. So allowing us, to, I would say, to sleep five comfortably. The problem with me demonstrating how the bunks and beds go down makes me want to lay in them. And then it takes me a long time to finish the video because I want to take a nap. So putting everything back, we're just going to put the back cushion up there. Do the same for this one over here. Move these to the side temporarily and super easy. Raise that table back up, lock your lever into place and then return these cushions until they snap back on the little Velcro buttons provided. Now that we've taken a look at our dining area, let's move over to the kitchenette. Okay, so starting with our Dometic fridge, I'm going to link the cubic foot right here in the video, but just giving you an idea on the space and the amount of cubbies. This also is going to feature the lock in place handle, so you're just gonna pull it towards you and you are going to be able to pop it open and lock it shut when traveling. Moving over to our gray stone microwave, good decent size. We've got the nice black uh, finish on all of our appliances, your gray stone hood with the light and vent, and then we've got our stove down here. I love the glass top that they do, so that way it provides extra countertop space. When it's time to cook, we're just gonna roll it on back Here's a look at that three burner stove. And coming down here to the oven, we've got the actual oven space, but I love this pots and pans drawer that is built in to look like and match the oven itself. Taking a look at some of the storage, we've got our cabinet right overhead. This again is on that strut, so it's going to stay open while you're putting your items in and out. We have another cabinet right here with the adjustable shelf. So you would just move your brackets. So you're able to put items where they are needed as you get them and adjust it accordingly. Right down here, we have all these drawers and I love the little LED backlighting that we've got. This one is gonna hold your sponges and these are going to be fully extending so we can utilize all the space that we can. This one down here is going to be nice and deep. So taking a look at our countertop space, you've got this cover over the sink, which provides that extra space also. We've got an undermounted stainless steel sink with our matte black residential style faucet. We've got our adjustable sprayer right here. You're also going to get that extra countertop space by covering up the stove. We've got the nice ledge back here. Also, a little extender is gonna pop up in place right there. We have a little extension of storage and cabinet space right there. This is also going to be your plug-in and cable for the television. Lastly, underneath the refrigerator, we've got just a little bit more storage for you. It's also a great place to stash the trash. Okay, moving back to our bedroom area, you can see we have a north-south facing bed. I love the windows that they have included, so it makes it feel nice and open back in this corner. We have our privacy curtains, so if you are sleeping with guests, you will be able to close that, get a little bit of uh, privacy. We have our light right over here, and then individual push lights that you can control if one of you would like to stay up reading you're able to do that. We have USB ports right under here to charge the cell phone and all of our storage cubbies. I'm gonna go through and open them up for you. Again, we're going to be on those struts that's going to allow it to stay open. I also love that they included this little notch here so you can take advantage of that corner space. And then coming over to this one, we've got a little bit more right there and back to the corner right here we've got a little 12 volt plug-in again all of these windows are going to have the accordion shade so you can keep it nice and cool in here on this wall you are going to be able to control your thermostat so we've got the uh, suburban thermostat right there we also have a vent so you can get some circulation over in this corner 
So that is our sleeping area, but right over here is the wardrobe space. So we've got our mirrors, which is great and easy for getting ready. We've got a large deep storage drawer right here, and then a large hanging wardrobe right there. Here's a look at that ladder. That's gonna be a telescopic ladder that I told you about that's going to uh, mount to those brackets right there so you can access that top booth. Here's a look at that furnace. Okay, moving into our restroom. I love the little door stop that they've included here. So you don't have to worry about that doorknob smacking into the glass. It's going to lock it and latch it in place. And here's a look at our restroom. We've got our power vent right overhead, our medicine cabinet with, look at this, I'm only 5'3". And as you know, in a lot of campers, they make that medicine cabinet real tall so you can't see most of your body in it. Shorter ladies rejoice. We can actually get ready in the morning and see ourselves. Here's all that built-in storage. And we're also going to have storage underneath the sink. So a good, decent amount. We already have our toilet paper holder built in as well as a towel rack. We know how frustrating that can be trying to find spots to put the toilet paper. We've got an outlet right here. Of course, our porcelain toilet. This is nice because it's going to be easier to clean. It also gives it just a little bit more of a residential feel. Here's a look at that countertop again with that matte black faucet. But look how deep this bowl is. This is a good size sink. And I like that they added that extra depth instead of the real shallow plasticky one. And moving into our shower, we've got the built-in cubbies, a large skylight overhead, your uh, curtain and bar already mounted, and we are equipped with the shower miser. This is a water-saving item. So what this is going to do is give you the power to flip this knob and conserve hot water. It's going to stop it from filling it all the way up into the shower head. And then normally you'd push pause right here and all that hot water is just building up, sitting and waiting. The shower miser is going to allow it to recycle back into the tank and basically stay warm for you without using up the hot water. It's a nice little feature they've got in here. And then just looking down into our step-in shower. And we have we do have a switch to control that fan so you are you don't have to climb up and reach uh the button you do have a switch and then we've got our light switch right here we've got this nice vinyl flooring throughout the unit so it's going to be slip resistant just real durable for you all right moving into some of the controls we've got our breaker box right here by the bed easy to access and find we also have some speakers that you're going to be able to control from the front chassis on the stereo system right there but i wanted to get into the control panel itself and show you a few things of course we've got our generator and it's showing how many hours are on it here's where you would start and stop it here's where you would check those different tanks to see where we are at with the fresh and black and gray. Now you will have the option, of course, to run the water heater on your gas or the 110. If you are dry camping and you've got water on board, you'd want to make sure that pump is on. And we've got our tank heater heaters because we are an all season camper. You can take this up in the cold. You don't have to worry about that underbelly or your tanks. Moving right down here, we've got some outlets for your kitchen. These are the switches for the interior. And we've got the awning to be able to go in and out, the awning light. We also have a nice step light. And then you can turn on your cargo lights from right here inside the unit. And on this unit, we are solar. So you are going to get a solar battery and this is going to be your control panel to be able to check the levels of that go power solar charge. Our battery to the unit is going to be stored right here in this step. So should you ever need to access anything with your battery, it's going to go right there. And we've got our spot for our solar to go right next to it. And lastly, let's check out this chassis. We've got a little tiny step. It's not bad at all. Sometimes they are very deep. Don't have to worry about that with this unit. Again, we're on the E-Series, kind of standard looking forward up here. Tons of cup holders tons of cubbies. We've got built-in little cubbies up here as well. Right over there, here is a look at the steering and the light settings. 
We've got power locks, more storage cubbies right here in the door. And looking at our radio, so not only are you going to have that backup camera, you are able to connect to Bluetooth, your Sirius XM ready. We are also equipped with the CarPlay or Android Auto. So this stereo system really is smart equipped. All right, I managed to snag the key to this baby. So let's start her up. Again, that's going to be the E350 Ford engine. So on this specific unit, this is a 2023. It is coming in at just over a thousand miles. The average uh, mile per gallon looking like eight or nine given off of this uh, ledger right here on the dash. So guys, that is a look at this 2023 Chateau 22E model. This is your Class C motorhome, no slides. This one's gonna be super easy to drive, very low maintenance, just park it turn on your lights and you're set to go. If you're liking the specs of the Chateau but need a little bit more space, we do have some other floor plans on the lot. I do plan on doing videos of those soon. Y'all come out and see us at 12131 Bernard Parkway in Gulfport, Mississippi. When you think camping, think County Line Campers.